this is Tammy from Bakertown Collectibles and I'm here to talk to you today about Hummels. Hummel is a very interesting brand. It's fun to collect. It's a great place to put your money because there's some intrinsic value in it. And it's really, it's really a great thing to buy and to sell on eBay. So what I wanted to bring to you today is a few different examples of Hummels so that you're more familiar with the types of things you can buy. The first one I brought from, for you is meditation. Now here you see the large and the smaller meditation. Now Hummel would do this a lot. They would make the same Hummel, but in different sizes, and it would also come out in different eras. It started in around 1935, 37, and it goes right up until today. There's actually, there was talk in June about discontinuing the line, and temporarily Goebel has discontinued producing the Hummel line, but hopefully they'll get that resolved and they'll be up and running again. So this is the large meditation. Now on an eBay auction, it's very easy to think that you might be getting the larger one when you're getting the smaller one, so it's really important to note that the seller put in the correct height. And if the seller hasn't put in the height, make sure you ask about it because that, that does change the difference in value and also, you know, what you're collecting. If you collect predominantly four and a half inches, uh, a six or seven inch Hummel might, might not work in your curio cabinet. So you want to look at that. The other thing you want to look at is you want to look at the bottom and you want to make sure that any eBay seller shows the bottom of their Hummel because that shows the trademark date. Now on all Hummels, it does have a date on it. Now that's the copyright date, that's the date when it was first produced. It's not a reliable date because, for example, you might see something that says 1957, but the Hummel you have might have been from 1995 because they reproduced these lines just like they did. They reproduced it in different sizes. So, for example, this one over here is a full B. This is a tra trademark 2, a TMK2. This is one of the second trademarks that Hummel ever did. The only other one is the TMK1, which is in size. It's not even in blue. Those are incredibly rare. This one, as a TMK2, is also incredibly rare. You find more of them, you find more of them in the later trademarks. This one is a tr trademark 6. Uh, this was a later one. Still a beautiful piece, but some people only want to collect from particular trademarks, so you want to make sure you do, you do look at that. The other thing you want to make sure that you note is that there's no chips on it. So each seller, we always say if there's chips or if there's not chips. Um, in this particular case, on both of these, there are no chips. You also want to know if there's any paint missing. And you also want to know if there's any crazing. Now this one, for example, although she's a beautiful example of a Hummel, she has slight little spidering along her, along her dress and more heavy along the underside of the base. Now that happens when Hummels are older and they're stored in a hot temperature and then a cold temperature and sometimes it just makes the porcelain, the glaze, contract and expand. I personally don't mind the look of some light crazing. I think especially in an older Hummel it does make it look a little bit more antique -y. It's really a personal preference. Most porcelain things will at some point show some signs of crazing so I wouldn't, I wouldn't judge them too harshly based on that. The other thing you want to look for, I'll just move these over, is whether or not it's been repaired. Now this is an example of our, of our little hiker who unfortunately has been repaired at the knees. It might be hard to see on this video. So you do want to make sure that you do ask if anything's been repaired. We always say whether something's been repaired or not. Hummels can still display beautifully if they're, if they're repaired, but it's all a question of whether or not you want to collect you know, perfect specimens or or ones that have been repaired. If it's one that's very hard to find, you may want to settle for a repaired one because you can get a good price if something has been has been repaired. So that's basically the whole thing. We have a uh, if you go to our About Me page, we link you to a back stamp a back stamp dating um, website that shows you all the different back stamps so you can familiarize yourself with it. It's also in our store. And if you have any questions, please please drop us a line at info at vintagerarestuff.com. We'd be happy to help and happy to help you start a collection. All right, happy bidding. Bye.